Hey folks, it's Ben Capozzi with the Main Street Gardener and I'm getting ready to plant a Gold Rush Apple. Uh, the rain has stopped, the ground is super soft and uh, cold, cold weather is coming in just a few days. So today and tomorrow I think are pretty much it for me getting things in the ground. So let's get this Gold Rush in. All right, so this is my Gold Rush Apple. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I grafted it myself earlier this year. Back in April or March, looks like I grafted it in on April 16th. Um, so it is grafted onto Antonovka rootstock. This right here was probably the original stick of scion wood that I got. Might have been the whole thing here, but either way, I've got four side branches. So it's good and alive and ready to produce. I mean, it's small, but you know, it's going to do its thing either way. Uh, the reason I'm planting Gold Rush is because um, it is super, super hardy um, and healthy. It's uh, resistant to a lot of common apple problems like cedar apple rust and scab and fire blight. Uh, it's because one of its great-great-grandparents, great-great-great-great-great-grandparent, I think, actually was a crab apple. And um, it's a really dense, hard apple. Um, it comes out of, uh, I think it's Purdue... The university's horticulture uh, program and um, it's super dense and very hard but also juicy which makes it really really neat sometimes you have a hard apple that keeps well in storage but uh, it's just bland um, but uh, by all accounts gold rush uh, has a great tang um, it's quite zippy even uh, after in storage for months should be able to harvest it in november which is why it's going right here and if you've seen my other videos this spot looks familiar this is where uh, my Rome Beauty and my Wolf River apples were uh, yesterday but uh, they're back here in the corner now where they should be chronologically so um, anyhow the Wolf uh, sorry not the Wolf River but uh, the Gold Rush is going there let me get it in the ground and we'll be done with this all right the Gold Rush apple tree is in the ground I put down some uh, little mix of uh, medium red and white clovers and a little bit of a uh, cornmeal and the only thing left that I'm gonna do here and let me see if I can do this and record with my left hand and prune with my right but I'm just gonna cut off some of these branches that are a little lower than I would prefer check out that one this is the main one here right so I'm gonna leave this because I want this tree to get quite tall if you're familiar with what I'm trying to do here in this part of my orchard, I'm trying to do um, tall, single spindle, so very narrow, very columnar trees. So um, I don't need a lot of uh, branching. If I had a different plan for this tree or a different location, I wouldn't be uh, pruning it this way. But basically, all I want uh, for this one right here in the spot is a stick, and I need to get rid of this bit of the um, rootstock. Sorry, don't want that. Don't need that. A little tougher than I would have thought. And there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and take that one too. Probably can't see that. And maybe I'll come back and clean that up. There we go. All right. This gold rush is in the ground and ready to rock. Uh, I will check back on it again. You know, I mean throughout the winter, but for the most part, I'm not gonna do anything to this tree until uh, the spring. And at that point, what I may do is put a, a bamboo stick in uh, the ground to straighten it up and uh, tie it to just to make sure that it keeps going vertical uh, over the next year. And while I've got my shovels here, I'm going to move on to the next one, which is uh, this spot right over here. I'm going to put uh, Albemarle Pippin or uh, Yellow Pippin, Yellow Newton Pippin, sorry. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> 